A very good evening, Sastriya Kal. Hello and welcome to all our viewers. Welcome back once again. This is 3BL Season 3 and we are about to begin the evening slot, which is Conference B. Let me remind you, yesterday we had Conference A. Today morning we had the Women's League and now it is time for Conference B at this 3BL Season 3. But before we begin the Conference B, I would request everybody to clap and give a round of applause to all our sponsors because without them this wouldn't have been possible our hospitality and venue partner windham chandigarh mohali this beautiful venue thank you so much radio partner my fm 94.3 apparel partner nivia energy drink partner red bull medical partner fortis hospitals mohali our name partner boxer singh worldwide sports private limited and special thanks to bfi and fiba 3x3 Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us live. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel. You can also watch us live there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for beginning the Conference B of 3BL Season 3. Playing the first game today at Conference B. Put your hands together and please welcome Team Delhi Hoopers! This is Team Delhi Hoopers uh, consisting in the group Conference B and playing against Delhi Hoopers in the opening game of Conference B from the far northeast. Put your hands together and please welcome Team Azal Legends. This team is all set and ready. They have three players and it's going to be a tough one. All right, it's toss time now. Can I please invite the captain of Delhi Hoopers and the captain of Ezra Legend for the toss with me, please? Good evening, gentlemen. All the best. This is the toss. This is heads and this is tails. Who's calling? Ralrina. Ralrina from Ezra Legends is called for heads. And heads it is. Uh, takes the ball. Good luck. This is Conference B. Watch us live. Don't miss this. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow ballers, welcome to day two of round one of the 3x3BL season three. Today brings you six teams from Conference B vying to be champions of this round over nine games. Talent and skills abound and will surely keep you enthralled this afternoon. We come to you live from Windham Chandigarh Mohali with live action on Sony Live. And representing Delhi Hoopers will be number three, Irvin Kogo, 23, Prabnur Singh, <clears throat> Excuse me, number eight, Amit Sarawat, and number seven, Villain Bryant Pena. <coughs> Excuse me. I saw legends will be represented by number 15, Palpreet Singh Brar, number six, Yudrik Pereira, and number 22, Lalrina Renthley. Are these three going to be able to stop Delhi Hoopers? We must wait and watch. But when you have the wizard on hand, any amount of magic is about to happen. And that's what we'd be hoping to see from I saw legends with Lalrina's magic that should weave and mesmerize everyone watching this game today. Pool A consists of Delhi Hoopers, Aizol Legends and Kolkata Warriors in Conference B, while Pool B consists of Chennai Icon, Ahmedabad Wingers and Lucknow Ligers. Today's events will start off with the Delhi Hoopers locking horns with Aizol Legends. Trust me, folks, this is a fun-filled evening with a lot of action-packed games a lot of nail biters up ahead so make sure you finish all your work and sit down to enjoy this spectacle and for the next few days we will be entertaining you from a lot of amazing 3x3 footage coming to you live from chandigarh you can watch on sony live app or you can even tune into the 3x3 bl youtube channel or the fiba youtube channel and watch these games and uh, we have on show today several stalwarts in the 3x3 field Notably, Irvin Kogo, who is from Macedonia, wearing the red jersey and sporting number three on his jersey. Irvin Kogo from Macedonia with a lot of experience. And Willen Bryant Prania, who is also playing for the Delhi Hoopers, wearing number seven. 
This is his first time playing 3x3, but trust me, he has been chewing the brains of Irvin Kogo these past few days and understanding the nuances of how best he can make the adjustment without too much of glitches and uh, start playing 3x3 to his advantage and see how best he can perform for his team. Prabnur has thrown an open challenge and he has told me that he's going to be shredding the nets for Delhi Hoopers and Delhi Hoopers are going to really light it up. Of course, an old hand at this is Amit Saravat who is Inderbir Singh Gill's student and he has morphed from a youngster to a superbly talented young man here that you are about to see and uh, he will definitely also pose his very own challenges for the short-staffed Isol Legends. But when you have Palpreet as a big man and Udric to ably assist him on the floor as well and with the magic that Lalrina can bring to his team, anything is just possible. All we can assure you is that this is going to be a fun-filled, action-packed contest. What a duel on the uh, cards. And following this, Chennai Icon will be playing Amrabad Wingers. Kolkata Warriors will be playing Isol Legends. Lucknow Ligers um, will play Amrabad Wingers. And then we have a couple of other league face games which will be played between Delhi Hoopers and Kolkata Warriors. Chennai Icon will play Lucknow Ligers again. After this, we will have two semi-finals followed by the final itself. Stay tuned, folks, and enjoy the show that's about to unfold. As you can see, both the teams are warming up and definitely the weather is a little bit better than it was this morning and it was so harsh and so rough on the women but they were like troopers playing today and Delhi Divas despite suffering one loss in the league phase they did manage to beat their opponents who did dish out that loss to them in a very closely contested game and take it away and they are the first round champions for the women's league of 2022 held by 3x3 BL. And yesterday, we saw another spellbinding contest, a little sluggish off the start. Gurugram Masters recovered well enough and stage by stage, game by game, they found their guns and started firing on all cylinders by the time it was up to the final and made sure they walked away with winning the champion's title for the first round for Conference A. So today, we will know who will be the champions at the end of the ninth game. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere and enjoy the show that's about to unfold for you. The wind conditions seem a bit rushed here. So that is also going to play a factor. We did see the same kind of situation and conditions yesterday. And how these players are going to adjust to that wind factor will determine how they can overcome and win, win it for their teams. Definitely, it's going to have an adverse effect on the two-point shots that they'd want to score. But playing a little inside, taking those mid-range shots and taking it deep inside would make a difference. But that all depends on strategy and what the defense is also going to allow you to do. You can see that the Isol legends are planning and plotting. One man down, they have their ta task cut out today. It's always a treat watching... Lalrina, the wizard Renthley play because it's like watching Magic Johnson on the floor. That's the kind of energy that he brings on and also the basketball IQ that he displays on the floor is phenomenal. Exciting to watch and a consummate team player. A very good positive energy emanating from him. A treat to have on the team and get to know as a person as well. Palpreet Prar having a few words with the referee early on. He's going to have to bring his A game today and see how best he can conserve his energy as well. But definitely Delhi Hoopers are going to go all out and try to push them around and make sure that it's not going to be easy for them. With a full roster and young ones there, Delhi Hoopers do have a slight advantage in the fact that they can go in for rotations and keep subbing in and out and bringing a fresh pair of legs every single time. Starting Isol Le Legends. Palpreet with the ball, taking it to the hoop, draws a foul, and that would be a reach in foul by Pena. The shot counts, and Palpreet will go to the free throw line. A very, very early foul, six seconds into the game itself. It's working in Isol's favor at this point in time. They do not have a big man to match Palpreet size.
They have two big men. In fact, Udrik is also there to step up and join the party. But how will the big men match up to the speed that the smaller guys bring is something that remains to be seen. And Bryant makes good use of it and drops one in and picks up the first point. He's absolutely pumped, bringing a lot of energy. Kogo comes in and uh, a quick breather for Bryant. Palpreet out to Lalrina. Lalrina loses the ball. Still not gotten into it. Barely 30 seconds into the game, 31 seconds into the game. We've already seen a couple of exchanges and two baskets. Irvin Kogo contested there, but Irvin picks up the rebound and that is not possible for him to make, but Lalrina was there to make sure that his team got the rebound. And Udrik Pereira with the two. It's a good one for Udrik. Usually you see Udrik playing inside, but he's proving that he can play outside as well and be as valuable. Picking it up and passing it to Lalrina. Lalrina with the long two, but that's no good. An air ball for Lalrina. Irvin Kogo kicks it out. Amit. Dishing it out to Prabhnur. Prabhnur taking it to the Hopins. Challenged by Palpreet. That's what he does. But a nice pass by the Wiz to an open man. Palpreet gets it where he loves it the most. Lalrina. What a dish. Sweet. Bryant. Out to Kogo. Passing it to Prabhnur. Prabhnur. Nowhere close. Missing it completely off target. Hustling defense by Prabhnur. Kogo out to Pena. Prabhnur again. That was a friendly ring and Prabhnur got the best of it. Two points for him. Hustling defense by Pena but he draws a foul. Palpreet draws a foul and the foul is conceded by Pena. Palpreet missing the free throw. Back to Lalrina. A floor violation called and Lalrina can't believe that call. Irvin Kogo with the ball trying to split the defense. Prabhnur out in the open. And yes, he makes it. He keeps his word saying that he's going to shred the nets. And that's what he's doing there. A second two for him. Udrik Pereira turns around with the jumper. Misses it. Kogo takes an attempt, but it rolls out, in and out. That's what it does. But taking it to the hope is Lalrina drawing a foul. And this time the foul is again on Pena. And he's a little frustrated that he had to concede that foul. And Amit Saravat comes in place of Pena. Lalrina missing that one. But he's there to quickly pick it up and pass it to Palpreet. Palpreet loses it. Thanks to the quick hands of Amit Sarawat from behind. Palpreet is there to pick up the rebound. He will reset. Hustling defense there by Delhi Hoopers. You can see the wind condition. Dust being blown. Kogo with a nice fake there, kicks it out. Amit Sarawat makes it. Another two for Delhi Hoopers. Delhi Hoopers have an early lead of three points. Udrik Pereira tries to split the defense and take it in, loses the ball. Irvin Kogo for another two, and that's in and out for him. Ball saved. Amit Sarawat with the ball for Delhi Hoopers. Irvin Kogo spotting up for another two. This time, third time round, he's still unlucky. Losing the ball. That will be Delhi Hooper's ball. Delhi with an early lead of 3, 651 remaining in the game. And Delhi Hooper's already have three fouls. So, as all legends might want to capitalize on that fouls that Delhi is so quick to give and make sure that they can get put into foul trouble. Irvin Kogo, being the expert over here, is offering his advice and strategizing as to how and what should go on. Palpreet is going to have to take on the load a bit much more. 
but he is hustled a lot by double teaming defense and Delhi Hoopers are quick to ensure that they will disturb him as much as possible. That's the advantage with size over speed and a small men. Prabnoor in and out. Udrik almost, yes, he loses the ball. Kogo had a piece of that. I saw legend ball drops it to Palpreet. Palpreet checking out his man and turning around for a jumper. That's no good. Prabnoor is there to pick up the rebound for him. Kogo with the floater. He's not able to make it. Palpreet is there to pick it up, passes it to Lalrina. Lalrina tries to split the defense and take it up. And off the glass, Lalrina with another one for Aizol Legends. Spotting up, Amit Sarawat. Was that a pass? Was that a shot? Whatever it was, it didn't go in and that it's a turnover is all we can say. Lalrina splitting the defense. Pena had a bit of it. Udrik back to Lalrina. Lalrina turns for a two. But it, although it was a great jumper, it didn't quite match up. And that was a rejection there by Palpreet waiting for Prabhno to come in. Perfectly timed rejection. Amit Sarava drops it to Kogo who cuts in. Kogo does not want to risk taking a shot over there with Palpreet looming over him. It's an air ball but Prabhnoor intercepts and picks it. Palpreet is there to pick up the rebound. Lalrina spotting up for a two this time. No, it hits the front rim and it's out. Kogo is there to quickly pick up the rebound. Spots up outside, tries to take it all the way into the hoop but Kogo is happy passing it out rather than make, taking those attempts. Prabhnoor missing that one. Irvin Kogo inside a deep pass to Prabhnoor and Prabhnoor is able to make it off the glass. Palpreet now out to Lalrina. Lalrina takes it up and yes, that's a beautiful reverse layup for Lalrina off the glass. They still within striking distance. Just two points separate these two. Delhi Kogo have the upper, uh, Delhi Hoopers have the upper hand and uh, Irvin Kogo is fouled. Palpreet once beaten decides that a foul is a lot better than having Irvin Kogo go up and make that shot and take it one point up again. So that was a good foul that Aizol Legends conceded. 5 minutes 12 on the clock. Irvin Kogo yet to make a basket. But he has been so busy feeding his teammates and ensuring that they get the pass where it's required the most and that's his first point. Well executed free throw one of two. Amit Sarawat spotting up for a jumper. Ball out to Lalrina. Lalrina with a no look pass inside to Udrik. Udrik makes it off the glass. Irvin Kogo with the two and looks like Irvin has found some form. Right after that free throw, ball goes off Palpreet's leg. So, it's going to be Delhi Hooper's ball. Aizol Legends trail by four points. Once he's found the rhythm, it's going to be a little hard. So, it's important that the defense really picks it up. But Udrik Pereira ensures that he's given his team a two. So, Aizol is trailing by not much. Just two points separates the team. Palpreet pulls down the rebound. Lalrina tries to split the defense and passes it to Palpreet, who's outside Palpreet with a long two. Off the board, though, off the glass. Irvin Kogo with the rebound tries to take it in, kicks it out to Amit Saravat. Behind the arc, Amit. Uncontested two, and Amit is sure to shred the nets there. And this time, Udrik Pereira makes sure he picks up that one. Patiently finding the right shot selection is important. And Irvin Kogo once more with the two. In return, Udrik attempts one, but that's no good. It comes right back to Udrik. Udrik for another attempt, but the ball is now in. I saw Legends hand Udrik once more with the ball. Palpreet now. A five-point difference and 
There's another jumper from Palpreet. A good one, but it's still just one point. Irvin Kogu mustn't be left alone. That's something that they are going to have to take into account because leaving Irvin Kogu out alone might just prove pretty dangerous because he's capable of sinking those twos and taking this game away from them. 3 minutes 35 on the clock. Delhi Hooper's lead. While the Delhi Hoopers have had the luxury of the fourth man, I saw legends are feeling the brunt of not having the fourth man. But this team is doing whatever it takes to stay in the game. Udrik has had a couple of twos from outside. And that has eased the pressure. But picking up those singles and making sure that Delhi Hoopers get into foul trouble will actually work in their favour if he, they are able to get Palpreet. The ball where he needs it. Or if Palpreet is able to get in the into his comfort zone. It will be of super use to this team. Udrik finding Palpreet inside. But Palpreet must ensure that he makes these shots and draws the foul. And then makes it an and one situation. Because that's where those twos can come in. Palpreet missing it. Rebound pulled down by Amit Saravat for Delhi Hoopers. Ball still with Delhi. Amit once more. Can't seem to decide whether to pass or not. Prabnur. No, he's not able to make it. And finding the open man is the whiz himself. Palpreet will lay it up. Palpreet with the ball. He'll take it out. Udrik with the ball. Udrik spots up for a two. But unfortunately, he doesn't make it. But Amit Sarawat is there ready to pick up the rebound. Ryan Pena finding Prabhnur. Prabhnur is not able to make it. Another opportunity but missed. Just a three-point deficit. And Izol Legends still within striking distance. With just two minutes 44 on the clock. Irvin Kogo. is It's a technical foul. Both of them friends off the court. Jolly banter. Palpreet finding his way to the hoop. And that's a foul on Prabhnur. So Palpreet will go to the free throw line. Makes it. Just two points between these two teams. Irvin Kogo asking for a screen. Passing it inside to the open man. But rebounded by Udrik Pereira. Who pulls it down. Back to Udrik. Udrik goes out of bounds. Disappointed in himself. Prabhnur with the ball for Delhi. Irvin Kogo attempts that one. It's an air ball. Just one point, two points separate both these teams. Two minutes 56 on the clock. But Delhi Hoopers are on five fouls. Can Izol Legends force them into that sixth foul and ensure that they can capitalize on the seventh, eighth and ninth fouls this remains to be seen. Palpreet with the ball. Spots up, but a very flat release over there. Prabnur with a beautiful release makes it. Jump shot. Adding one to his team. Udrik finding Palpreet deep inside. But no, it's almost an attempt. But Lalrina is there. Picks it up. A no-look pass. But Palpreet was not ready for it. A little hasty. Irvin Kogo. Udrik out to Lalrina. Lalrina spinning, finding the open man in Udrik. Udrik tries to go inside. Palpreet is there. But no. Ball goes out of bounds. Two minutes 20 on the clock.
a time out here such a brutal game S sucks your energy but this is where the action and the excitement is folks you can see lalrina looking a tad winded it's not been easy so far both the teams struggling Prabhnoor will sit out while Bryant, Sarawat and Kogo will take the floor. Amit called for a violation. Palpreet with the ball. Tries to muscle his way in. A double teaming attempt there. Finding the open man in Udrik. Udrik launches a two. And yes, he finds the net. Much, much valuable right now. Badly and sorely needed. Amit Sarawat with the jumper. Picks up the rebound. Gives it out to Irvin Kogo. Irvin spotting up for a two from outside. Missing it. Chasing after the ball. It's going to be I saw Legends ball. Just trailing by one point. Udrik has had three two points and that has been very, very valuable in keeping them in the game so far. Palpreet taking it to the hoop. Finding his way, a light, sweet touch off the glass. Palpreet leveling scores with a minute and 43 remaining. Irvin Kogo with the ball. Still not sure whether he wants to take it in or play, play outside. But William Pena from outside, he's not able to make it. Lalrina Rentlake with that attempt, the ball is out of bounds. It's going to be Izol Legends ball. How quickly the tides turn from a position of trailing. It seems like they have a minor edge on Delhi Hoopers pushing them on their back feet because they have capitalized and come within striking distance, keeping it level. And now they're using Palpreet to the max. And that's what they should be doing. Palpreet is able to sink those singles. First lead in the game for Izol Legends. Willen Pena. Rebounded by Palpreet. Palpreet will take it out. Dropping it to Lalrina. That was an erratic attempt there by Lalrina. In return, Sarawat has managed to... Let loose an air ball. So it's going to be Izol Legends ball. Lalrina had some redemption after almost losing it there. 53 seconds remain and Izol have a slender lead. It's a multiple possession game. There still is time for at least four plays. And yes, one more for Palpreet. Beautifully executed. Palpreet with a soft touch off the glass. And a quick rotation. Prabno looking to score a two. Rebounded by Bryant Pena. Prabnur once more. Another attempt. This one's no good as well. Once more to Prabnur. Will he make it? Nope. This is not it. Finding the open man in Udrik. Udrik will try to take it to the hoop. Draws him in. Tries to draw a foul. But he got shoved in the process. Lost his balance. Foul not called. But Amit Sarawat manages to sink two. So which will level scores once more. Last 26 seconds on the clock is this. Rebounded by Pena. Now Amit Sarawat spotting up for another two. And he can't be left alone. Amit is someone that can take that kind of attempts and sink it right now. This is very, very tedious. Put themselves in a hole. I saw Legends had the momentum going. But there's just four seconds on the clock. Can they do it? But that is the end of the game, folks. 2018 in favor of Delhi Hoopers. Aizol almost tasted victory there. But it was Amit that sunk the dagger into Aizol's chest and made sure it stayed put and didn't come off at all. Tough loss for Aizol having played with just three players. But Delhi Hoopers have done what it takes and uh, sealed their first win. We can see the highlights now. It was a closely contested game. But Delhi Hoopers 
have bested Aizol Legends. Aizol Legends almost tasted victory there. It seemed like in the end that was as much as what they could do. A slump in the shoulders indicated that it was pretty much over with the last nine seconds remaining. Kogo starting to score after that first free throw and ensuring there were quite a few twos that came in. And that's the thing. Delhi Hoopers did have quite a few twos while Aizol Legends didn't have as many. They had a few, but everything else came from those singles. And uh, one man instrumental in putting up those singles has been Palpreet, who's been solid in the paint, pulling down those rebounds and also making sure that he got those singles. Udrik had nearly three or four twos to his credit. Lalrina made sure that they were supplied with the ball where they required it. But in the end, it just came down to the fact that they should have had a fourth man to relieve them and that was not to be. So Delhi Hoopers have picked up their first win today, 2018, at the end of 10 minutes. Now let's go over to Rishi. He's going to interview Irvin Kogo of Delhi Hoopers. What an opening game for conference we have had between Delhi Hoopers and Ezra Legend. This is what 3BL Season 3 is going to bring to you. From Delhi Hoopers, we have the very, 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 very talented Kogo. First of all, congratulations on winning the game and welcome to India. How's the so far the days been for you? Uh, thank you uh, so much. Whoa, but here is nice. And uh, this is the first hour game, so we missed uh, a lot of shots, but I think the next game is going to be very, very better. All right. Uh, you know, Kogo, you've spent some days with us here in uh, this city, which is called as Mohali Chandigarh and in India. I want to know how was it when you get to know that you're coming to India and you're going to play a pro league? Well, the first time uh, when, uh, when the, some guys say, hey, you want to go to India? I say, what? In India? Wow. It's not possible. But after, but after uh, the sometimes I say, okay, it's okay to go in India. And I see the season one, the season two, nice Indian player. But I think from the season two to season uh, three now, they are so, so better from season two. Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, you've got uh, coming up a one league game also. And I want to know about how you're building up with your team. How happy are you with the team? How happy are you with the teammates? How's the chemistry and the strategy going on? Uh, uh, look, I want a lot, a, a lot of uh, move on the on the core because I want uh, some European uh, uh, style, and for them I think is the first time to 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 play this. But I think the next uh, next uh, game it will be so good. I, I'm sure about that. Thank you so much and congratulations on the win and good luck for that. That was the captain of Delhi Hoopers. They've won their first game of Conference B. Let's see what's coming up your way. Take it back, Aparna. 